Hello, I'm going to show you today how to activate a King Gamer key that is meant for the Origin platform. The, Ori the Origin platform is this one right here, the orange icon that I have already installed here. And if you don't have it yet, then you want to go to your browser and search for Origin download right here. And that's uh, going to bring you to these two options. Either one of these is fine, they're both going to bring you to this page. And the computer that I'm running here, it's a Windows 10 computer. So if I was uh, downloading it, I'll be using this option right here, which is for Windows 7 and up. And if you have a Mac, you can download the Mac version here. But do keep in mind that most games are not going to be able to run properly on a Mac. And while we do have some games for Mac on our shop on the eShop.kinggamer.com site. Always take a look at the platform that is listed uh, because most of them will be for Windows and uh, just a few of them are for Mac. So always take a good look at that or otherwise you might be buying something that you can't actually use. And while when you click on this it's going to start downloading here or whenever your browser it's showing the downloads. Uh, this one right here has a one in, in parentheses because I already have it. Like I said, it's already running here. And while it's being downloaded, you can also take the time to register. You click on the register option right here. And it's gonna ask you to create an account. So you enter your information, uh, whatever yours may be, and you can actually take advantage of that time when it's being downloaded. Click on agreeable and next. And right now it's actually not working as you can see uh that can happen sometimes with origin here and there if that happens to you then i recommend just coming back at a later time maybe a few minutes maybe an hour and it should be working by then and once this file is downloaded then you can click on it and it will start um, installing the actual app once you do that and you're able to register an account then you can go to your already installed app and it's going to bring you to this page, the sign-in page for the actual app. Uh, you enter your email address and password that you created, and it then will bring you to the actual app, to the home page inside the app. Once you're in it, you'll be able to actually uh, redeem the code that you got from us, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So this one is loading right now. Let's just wait for it to load up. And like I said, it's going to bring us to the actual home page in the app. Okay, so this is pretty much what the home page looks like. It should load here uh, my Dead Space game, which is the only one that I have on my origin. Now to, the, to actually redeem the code, then you come here to the origin tab right here on the top left. Click on it, fourth option. Top to bottom on the, on the drop down menu, it's gonna read redeem product code. This is the one that you want. So you click on it and it's gonna bring you to this pop-up right here that it's going to ask for the actual code. Now in origin you can enter you can enter characters infinitely and it's not going to stop you and it's not going to ask for uh, the dashes that might be on the code. Uh, some other platforms like the Microsoft Store they populate the dashes automatically. This one doesn't. Some keys have dashes, some don't. So always take a good look if it has dashes on it. If it looks something like this, then always make sure to enter the dashes manually here in our region. Also, if you take a good look here, this one, this is the example of the product code. And this one is four sections of four characters each. And that can be misleading. Not every code is going to look like this. Like I said, some of them are um, straight up, just like that, um, characters with no dashes at all. And some of them do have dashes. However, not all of them are only four sections and not all of them are four characters per section. There are some that are five sections and five characters, a total of 25 characters uh, without the dashes. 
So always take a good look at the key code that you're entering and how many sections they have and how many characters are in each um, section because it's very easy to be misled by this one right here, by this example. So don't, don't assume that it's going to be exactly like that because they are very, um, not very usually like this. And with that being said, if you're getting an error code, I recommend going back to your key and making sure that it's being entered correctly. It's very easy to mistake a one for an L or an I, for instance, or an O and a zero. Uh, so always do go back to the code, make sure that you're entering the correct number of sections and dashes, uh, make sure there isn't a typo in the way you're entering it. And if at the end of it, you already double checked and triple checked and you are still getting an error message somewhere, then you can find a link on the description below that's going to take uh, to take you sorry to our claims page and that will have instructions on how to reach over to us so we can help you out so if you do get an, an error and you're positive that the key is being entered correctly don't worry too much about it we can still help out with that and with that being said uh, once the key has been accepted and activated you'll find your product on the game library if you didn't start downloading automatically then you can come to the game library and right click on the game you just activated and select download. Uh, all of the games are going to be shown here at the game library. Some of them, uh, depending on your settings, might be under the hidden games tab. And one thing to consider also, especially for games like The Sims 3 or The Sims 4, they have a lot of DLCs or uh, downloadable content or expansions, whatever you want to call them. Those are not going to be showing here like games because they're not actually games. Being uh, expansions or DLCs, they will be found here on the properties or um, game details tab on the actual game. So if you bought a DLC or an expansion pack for The Sims 4, then you should have already the actual base game The Sims 4 here on the library. And then that one is going to show on the menu of the game. That's where you can find it because you're not going to see it like here as well. And that also can be misleading. So be careful with that as well. And that should do it. Uh, once the game is actually downloaded, it will give you the option to launch it instead of download it. And you should be good to go at that point. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a nice day.